We are back with the Valley's Most In-Depth Weather Forecast video the ninth day of February here in 2023. The uh, wind has taken its sweet time to get going, but it's getting kind of blustery out there this evening. And the wind will be our major story in the short term, followed by a pretty good cool down for Friday and the start of the weekend. Nothing cool about today's forecast, though, and today's weather. Uh, if you were lucky enough to step outside this afternoon, it should come as no surprise. We flirted with a record today. We didn't, we didn't tie it or break it. 68 at the Youngstown Warren Airport today. 70 of the record, uh, 1937. Also in the 1930s, we had a record low on today's date of 16 below zero. So remarkably warm out there today. We didn't set a record at uh, the Youngstown Warren Airport, but records were sent, uh, set, I should say, in Cleveland and Akron and many other locations throughout Ohio. In western Pennsylvania, in fact, Wheeling hit 73 this afternoon on February the 9th. All right, looking at some wind gusts across the region, uh, down at the John Glenn International Airport in Columbus, 37 miles per hour at the top of the hour in the 7 o'clock hour. No official gusts reported at YNG in uh, Vienna, but it's going to turn pretty blustery over the next couple of hours. It'll be a, uh, generally a windy night, especially in the first half of the night, and the cold air, it is coming. What's not coming? A lot of rain. We had, of course, some wet weather earlier on today, but there'll be a shower in a couple of spots this evening, but I don't think we're looking at much rain as we go through the next several hours. This uh, storm system is also producing a decent little uh, helping of snow in northern Michigan, but all of that is staying up in Canada and northern Michigan, and we're not expecting anything more than a stray snow flurry around here over the next 24 hours or so. So here's some modeled wind gusts over the next handful of hours. Notice we might get up into the 40 to 45 mile per hour range. That might be pushing it a little bit since we're past dark. Typically, uh, you know, the atmosphere is not as well mixed once we lose the, the daylight. Uh, but still, it's going to be blustery. At minimum, we'll probably see a 30 to 35 mile per hour gust over the next few hours. And as we go towards tomorrow morning, this becomes a cold breeze, not as windy as this evening, but still a noticeable breeze tomorrow morning with temperatures in the 30s. We're gonna stay in the 30s all day. It's gonna be a cloudy, kind of typical midwinter day across the region. Might there be a sprinkle before the afternoon is through? Yes, better chance of maybe seeing a little bit of precipitation tomorrow evening with this trough of low pressure scooting by to our east, especially. Might be a flurry here and there, but I think the sky will clear pretty quickly early Saturday morning, leading to bright sunshine for Saturday afternoon and plenty of sunshine in store for Sunday as well. Kind of an interesting setup with an upper low dumbbelling through the Carolinas. There's gonna be a pretty good helping of snow in the higher elevations in uh, the uh, mountainous terrain in Western North Carolina, Eastern Tennessee, maybe even down into Northeastern Georgia as well. And uh, maybe some flakes as far east as places like Raleigh and Charlotte and heading up to, uh, towards Southwestern Virginia. But that system's only gonna get so far to the north. Uh, it's gonna be, uh, uh, blocked a little bit by an approaching cool front, an area of high pressure also over uh, Canada. Keeps that system well to our south and to our east. So the weekend will feature some cold mornings. We'll be in the 20s each morning. But the afternoons, nice, especially Sunday. 40 degrees on Saturday, but 49 on Sunday. And that warming trend that starts at the end of the weekend is going to continue for most of next week. A week from today, we might be in the 60s once again. Of course, one of the big stories we've been tracking all winter is the lack of snowfall, making a lot of people happy, some people not so happy, but um, the majority of the comments I see, are, they're just fine with the lack of snowfall. Uh, we've had 18 inches so far this season at the airport in Vienna. Of course, many places have had less than that. Uh, that is good for eighth place on this list of the least amount of snow in a season up through today's date. Uh, the most recent uh, year on this list, 2015-2016, that was a super El Nino year. Um, and so it's a little less surprising that we had a paltry amount of snow in that winter. This winter, we've got we've had a La Nina for the third straight year, and typically we don't see a real low amount of snow in La Nina winters. It's usually kind of somewhere within shouting distance of average. Typically, we don't have a gangbusters year in terms of snow, although there are some exceptions. Um, but uh, this is pretty paltry stuff for a La Nina winter. And yeah, again, a lot of times when we have low numbers, it's because we're in an El Nino, and because we're in a strong El Nino, that means that it's too warm for snow in a lot of cases. So 82, 83 comes to mind, 2015, 2016, 1997, 98, all those are winters with strong El Ninos and the, the snow totals were not that high because it was just simply too warm a lot of the time. Not too many uh, years in which we have this year's setup and we have this lack of snowfall. Um, there's still a lot of winter left and I do suspect that we're gonna have many more opportunities for some, some wintry weather in March 
But so far, meteorological winter, of course, uh, slim pickings in the slow in the uh, snow department, I should say. All right, let's do it again on Friday. Thanks for watching tonight, everyone. Uh, don't forget to follow me on social media, and uh, we always link to the freshest edition of Weather for Weather Geeks on all my social media outlets. And most of you, of course, are watching on YouTube. If you are, make sure you have liked my page on YouTube and make sure you have uh, subscribed so you get notified for those uh, new videos.